Hello and welcome to What Goes Bump the Night. And we are back in another cemetery. And a cemetery we've been to a few times, but haven't actually gotten any footage of those nights because all of our stuff dies. But tonight, <laughs> we're fully charged and ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm Trevor Jensen. I'm Riley Clark. I'm Jenna. And we're awaiting a s another surprise guest to come out. He'll be here eventually. But you'll see that when we get get to that part. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep it secret for now. And I, I bet you can kind of guess who it might be, but for now it's gonna be a secret. And tonight we are at the infamous and legendary Michigan cemetery known as Nunica Cemetery. If you couldn't tell from the intro. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this cemetery dates back to dates back to the 1800s and is famously known around here for having a bunch of children buried in it from 1920 who died of the influenza outbreak. Uh, notable spirits that are found here, uh, I've spoke to her many times and she's known to hold your hand, is a little girl named Emily. And uh, there's a, another man, I've spoke with him here before. He's been seen at this building we'll show you right now. Trevor rolling some B-roll here. Uh, right there is a, a shed and he's been seen outside of that shed. It's mm -hmm. supposed that his body is buried over here as well. Um, we've had really good success in the past coming here when I've placed down a cigar and been able to speak with him. He actually, I seen an orb over the, in the woods to my right here before. So it's a fairly active place. We also played tag with a little boy here who hides behind a trees and giant freaking willow tree so there's a lot of stuff that goes on here and it's not as spooky as it used to be it used to be just woods all around it now there's kind of some businesses creeping in and stuff some light like saturation that. around but it still does its job it still does a job it still gets creepy here we heard what sounded like a banshee here once before so that's just some of the history and some of the things that we've experienced here ourselves i think trevor you've only been here once right been here twice but only one time to investigate so yeah the other this time to find second. his wallet and i'd never found it maybe we'll find it tonight magically if i find it i'm gonna lose my stuff <laughs> like i'm gonna i'm just gonna throw up and be like well i believe in all of this now i mean i already do but more so now well without further ado why don't we uh start the walkthrough So there's a story I learned about fairly recently. It didn't happen recently. I just learned about it recently. In this very tree right here, a man actually hung himself from this branch. It's a really creepy looking tree. It's like three trees in one. Yeah, and there's some really weird rocks placed right here. Like right below. Here is where Chase had that voice of a banshee yell at him. What's up, banshee? I don't know if it really was a banshee, but. <laughs> Oh. 
Emily, if that's you, can you make this device light up? What was that? Sticks of some sort. Why though? Over there. Oh, you can't see it in the camera, but I think it's a squirrel. a squirrel or something. Raccoon. Hi, Emily. Sorry, animals are distracting us. You found us. Are you excited about Easter? Have you come to take our souls? Why? <laughs> Do you Definitely. like it when people come and visit you? Emily, can you hold my hand? Turn your brightness down a little bit. She might have ran away. So what you're saying is we should chase oh, her? No, I think she's here. Hi, Emily. Oh. Can you touch my hand? Did you like to play hide and go seek? Was that you who we played with last time? I thought that was a little boy. Could have been. Could have been either. Do you remember me, Emily? If you do, light this device up. Is the light scaring you? Yeah, the light's scaring her. You don't have to worry, it can't harm you. Oh, I just felt something breathe on my hand, bro. Breathe? Yeah. Like, huh? like a breath. Oh yeah, let me get that back into view. Extra cold right here. Yeah, it was like really, really cold. I'm gonna turn the light back on now. How do you feel? Me? Mm hmm I feel cool. <laughs> no, like, that, that was feel, cool. I feel cool, dude. I feel <laughs> cool, dead. Like, fucking cool, dead. I feel like that, <laughs> cool, dead. Like, that was really cool. Like, that's why I feel like. No, I, I, I understood. I just laughed because I thought it was a funny way to say that. Emily, can you touch my hand again? Do we scare you? Oh, I just saw somebody. A person? Yeah, they were standing on that. Underneath that tree. No. Hello? Yeah. Well, let's go check. We are currently taking a spirit box session to see if we can communicate with Emily. Line in. No, what is it? I went too far. Bluetooth. Playback. Scanning. FM. Someone's here. Scanning. AM. That's nice. If there's anyone here that wishes to communicate with us, you can use this device in my hand to speak through, and we can hear your voice. Could you tell us your name? What's your name, sir? This is vibrated. Did it? Mm -hmm. 
Steve. Did it say speak speak or or Steve or Steve? I heard Steve. I thought I said speak. Are you telling us to speak? Joining us now on the investigation is Chase, of course. How's it going? Long time friend and fellow investigator at this yeah, point. So he brought some fun toys yeah. for us to play with today. Oh, yeah. Well, why, don't get a, why don't we get a little look-see? Right. Oh dear lord. Got a round pie, got a little bit of everything. Got my stash of cocaine. <laughs> you weren't supposed to show that, what? So I think we're actually gonna use this REM pod now, but we're gonna go find a location to use it. Okay, let me make sure the battery's good. All right, so this right here is a REM pod. And so what it does is it detects the magnetic waves or anything that comes into touch. So if anything, it obviously the closer it gets, the more crazy it starts to get. So this is just another form you can use to communicate in case they don't like being, you know, right next to you. Okay. So if there's anybody here with us right now, please go to the red light right here and get as close as you can to that antenna that's sticking up out of it. Let us know you're here. If you'd like to play a game, you can let us know by touching that. Does the road just go off? Uh -huh. Yeah, it does. What kind of game would you like to play? Tag? Hide and go seek? Okay, good, because I hate hide and go seek. I suck. Kick the can? There's a can. If you can kick it. Sardines? That's a game I used to play. Sardines. Emily, if you're still with us, can you come and touch this antenna? Make it do that. It'll light up all pretty colors for you. It won't hurt you. I'm gonna set the root by it just so it's far enough away that if it goes off too. Oops. Sorry. Hang my way. Okay. Okay. You don't have to be afraid of us. We're here on respectful terms. And we would like to speak with you. We just want to hear your story. We're here to tell it to the world. Are you happy where you're at now? It said it lit up when you said, asked if you're happy. What makes you happy? Is it that you're buried with your family members? That you're finally at rest? That you're not in pain anymore? Did you die of natural causes? You don't have to be sorry. Do you feel cold or warm? Do you want one of us to go alone? If that makes it easier? Hush. Do you like visitors? Blink twice for no, once for yes. That's interesting. And just to show, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. I was gonna say, like, I can't make this go off. This doesn't even make it go off. Phones don't make that one go off. Is there more than one spirit here with us? If there is, That's can you light it up for how many spirits there are?
Are there more than five of you? If you if there are, blink the red lights. Less than five? Oh. Kinda went off. So is there one? Two? So there's two of you. Are you both children? Light it up for yes. Is one of you a children? A child? A children? What's other now? Are Did you, you both adults? Are you human? Yes. Did you live around here? Were you born here in Nunica? Can you see it from back there? Can you see the lights from the highway? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, Never mind it's clear as day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you believe in paranormal? Are ghosts real? Do you know how you died? Light it up for yes. Like we showed earlier, you can touch this or get close to it. So you see that. Are you strong enough to do it? Two for no. Show yourself to us. Did you already show yourself to me? Okay. That's interesting. I saw you. I saw you. Was that you Riley saw earlier by the tree? I didn't see anyone, did I? They don't know they don't know if I did or not. Did I see you cross where that green light is? It changes. It colors. changes from red oh, to blue. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been attention to that. Have you been here for a long time? Light it up for yes. Are you newly? Are you new to the cemetery? Are you able to travel outside of the cemetery to wherever you would like to go? Is the cemetery protected? What? Is there anything dark in the cemetery? By bond. By bond? By bond. What do you think? I just asked if there's anything yeah, dark in the cemetery. Crazy. It's going crazy. What kind of dark spirit resides here? Is it dangerous? What? Oh, I've never seen it do oh, that, bro. I got chills. Oh my, are we in danger? I'm out. Good night. Just kidding, I'm not leaving. That's really Are cool. you trying to force us out? You don't scare me like you think you might. It could take a lot more than a couple of beeps. If you can make that REM pod go off, I'll believe you even more. The spirits that's talking to us, do you not like visitors? Oh, 4.6. Oh. That was oh. just weird. That was like instantaneous. That's weird. This is the first that's went off. It was just 4.6 and then dropped. Oh, I feel hot. Like hot? I had the chills for a second, but I mean, it is also very cold. No, like I, like, I feel hot. And your body is warm. It's because you got a blanket warm. now. Yeah, no, but I feel warm. cold though. But my like insides, I feel hot. Yeah, it's because that's body temperature mm. on the hot. inside. Hot. I'm just joking. I feel hot. Are you enjoying talking to us?
should we be afraid? I think it left. Maybe. Give it a couple more seconds. That was weird, though. I haven't seen that, like, go off that consistently yeah. like that for a while. I've never seen it do that before. Do you find us weird looking? That's a very astute question. Hey, you never know. I think find us weird looking. Or are we attractive? <laughs> <laughs> I know Chase is a good looking guy. <laughs> Should I go for a walk? Would you like someone to be isolated? Or would you like all of us to go be isolated on our own? What the, was that noise? What? Did you guys not hear that? Uh -huh. The woodlower? Just like the click on? Was that your oh, yeah, bag? I heard that. Or was that my bag? I heard, it no, that's not my bag. That wasn't my bag. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can wiggle out <laughs> here. Oh, <laughs> my foot. <laughs> that was weird. Depends on if you fought for the Confederate or <laughs> just kidding. All due respect, I'm sitting. Oh my god, 2.9. Wow. All due respect, I'm setting this up here. That millimeter was going crazy. No disrespect. That's just in case you want to touch that or go buy it. Even when we walk away from here, if you if you go buy it, it'll light up. And it shows us that you're here with us. You could even try knocking it down if you want. Karate kick it. So I'll explain where we're, what grave we're at right now. So we are at the Civil War vet's grave, uh, Bond. I don't, is this first name on here? Could be. Let me, uh, let me help you out with the lighting. For some reason I want to say Robert. I can't read it. It's all worn out. Yeah, it's gone. I can't read it either. It looks like Johnson or something. Thompson? Could be Thompson Bond. It looks like Thompson. It's the first name. Oh? His first Thompson name was Bond. not born. Thompson Bond. Bond. No, when you got when we just said Thompson, this went off. I do it. Oh my god. It's it doesn't look right. It's something son though. Is your name Thompson? Last name Thompson? Last name Bond. Last name Bond. Sorry, hey, get it right. I don't know how to read, apparently. Mr. Bond? James Bond? Are you available to speak with us tonight? The radio set. Oh, spirit box? I mean the spirit box. Yeah, that's it. Spirit box. Try a old spirit box sesh here. Scanning. AM. So what we want to listen for is the voices in between the frequencies. Yeah. Are there any spirits that'd like to speak with us tonight? You can use this device in my hand to speak to us. Did you hear that? I have no idea what it was. That was like three words. We'll see. We'll see, maybe? Like I said before, should we be afraid? Are you dangerous? Are there multiple spirits in this cemetery? Bring this this way.
just a bag. All right, I'm gonna put this back. It was just a bag, folks. I got a voice right when I picked it up, too. Did you? Could you tell us your name? Why should we be afraid of you? Is this a devil? Alright. Is this a devil? We'll, we'll wait for you to get yours together. No, okay, so. so, what do you have to say, lady? When I, when you guys, like, were doing this, I looked over there and you could kind of see, like, two. Like a shadow? Yeah, but it was, like, walking, like, towards, like, the road. And then okay. I pointed it out to Chase, and then... Interesting. But I, there's, like, Hopefully I Hopefully we can capture it again and, I, like, get it on video. I thought maybe it could have been, like, I was just seeing a tombstone. But I see where that dark, dark thing is, and the other one up front, and it was right in the middle. Okay. And then, Riley, what did we just have happen? So, we were using the spirit box. Chase is getting his spirit box ready right now. We're going to change it up to see if that makes any difference. Trevor had asked a question. Uh, are, are, wh why should we be why afraid? Why should we be afraid? And it said, I'm the devil. And we'll play that back again right now. Why should we be afraid of you? Is this a devil? So we're walking over to where Chase and Jenna just seen a figure almost exactly at the same time me and Trevor had that response about us speaking to the devil. So where was it? Um, walk up a little, I mean I'm blind from the lights, but... I just got a little bit of something. I'll give you a little bit of something. Can you make one of these devices light up if you're here with us? Oh, I just got up to yellow. <sighs> Were you trying to show me where you're buried? Were you visiting someone at this grave? What are you looking at? Turn the spirit box back on and see if this. Do you know who? A dude? No, you know who? Devil man. I don't want to say her name. Emily? Nope. Devil lady. Nope. Say her name. I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. The lady in... White? Yeah. Why can't you say her name? She's crazy. Is there a female in this cemetery that Jenna just saw? Oh, mine just went off. <laughs> well, definitely. Is it Emily? Should there Jenna be afraid? Spirits over here that like to speak to us. Would the spirits like Jenna to go on her own? Or how about Riley? You heard that too? Mm -hmm. How about me? Or me? Did I just say Riley? I thought it did too. Did someone just say my name?
Were you calling Riley out to go on his own? No shit. <laughs> when did you die? If someone's affecting Jenna, they can't do that. They're not allowed to. It's not like this, like... Stomachs? No, it's like a lump in my throat. Is this what you meant by we should be afraid? Die of asphyxiation? Are there any spirits that wish to do us harm? Oh. Fucking bird bat thing! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> I was recording. said you'd like a toy. Riley, are you still with us? We brought you a toy. If you make it go off, we'll leave it here for you. All you have to do is touch it. And it'll light up all these colors. Can you do that for us when it goes off? Riley, could you touch that duck for us? Whoa, the wind just picked up really weird there. That thing's going crazy. Oh, yeah. Are you trying to touch it right now? We'll leave it for you, but I would really, really enjoy it if you made the light inside of that duck go off. All you gotta do is press it. I'll show you one more time. Maybe the kid was too young to I just, understand what we're saying. Excuse my God. The feet look very tiny. That's what they like. Like stillborn? Could Maybe. be. Which is just as tragic. But that makes me wonder if spirits age even when they're in death. I don't know. I've Ooh. never really thought about that one too it's hard. It's just going crazy. I've never seen it do this. It do you want us to. Mouth. Right. Do you want us to walk away from the duck so we can give you some space? Yeah. We'll back up a little bit then. We'll stand right here and then you can try to make the duck light up. Excuse my snorting. My nose is running. It's very cold. 
for being almost the end of April. I can't believe how cold Could it is tonight. Could you make tonight. that duck light up for us? All you have to do is touch it. You might have to use some energy. Are there more spirits in the woods? Should we go over there? All right, we'll leave the duck. And then if you want to make it go off. I just saw an orb right over there. Did you really? Did you see it like? It was in front of that. It was like Are you sure it's not the reflection right there? It was in between us and that. Did I just see you? I keep, what was yours? Because I saw red. Mine was like about small little light. Do you like to smoke weed? <laughs> There's stories of a man who's seen here smoking cigars. Are you here with us? Well, there something else other than cigars? Did you roll your own? Was it some of the wacky tobacco? Devil lettuce? Oh, I just heard a man's voice. I did too. It was deep. What's your name, sir? Oh, I just got full red. If you're here with us, you can speak to us. Have you been watching us from afar? Do you remember us? Maybe. <laughs> I heard maybe clear as day. I remember you. Do you help protect the cemetery? Leave. I heard a woman's voice say leave. Why? Should we run? Can you tell us your name? Garbledy good to me, but that was something. Oh. How many spirits are here with us? I just saw a red light over there. I'm say about 10. How many of us are are here right now? Do you keep showing yourself to us? Are you friendly? Do you not like that there's businesses around the cemetery now? I heard it was much more peaceful before. Are you annoyed with the building of the new highway? I just got red as soon as I spoke. Can you tell us your name? Or how long you've been here? There was something, I don't know what it said. Yeah. I just felt something like lift up my hair. Did somebody just touch Jenna? 
My arm is completely numb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like from like my four, like elbow to forearm to you fingers, know. all numb. Emily, are you holding Trevor's hand? Oh, I just got red. Emily, can you speak to us? You won't be in trouble. Or is there a man trying to get my attention? Do you like us taking photos? Did you die from the flu? That's her little kid. I did too. Emily, was that you saying hello? We're not here to hurt you. Do you like the full moon? Are we close? You touch my hand. Yeah, I heard that too. You, are you trying to sound my like an owl? Riley, Emily. Can you tell me how old you are? That was the same voice. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Emily, are you touching my legs right now? Can you laugh for us? It literally feels like someone's holding on to my knee. Do you get many visitors? Leave. Leave. I keep hearing leave. Why? Why do you want us to leave? Are we in danger? Leave again. No! Wow, I feel angry. We don't want to leave. (laughs) yell. I didn't mean to. I just feel angry. Are you trying to push us out? Do you really want us to leave? Yes. Yes. First, tell us your name. Tell us your name and we'll leave. Riley? No. I don't know. That's not, I don't know what that said. Are you trying to hurt one of us? Are we disturbing you? You are disturbing. (laughs) Are we disturbing your rest?
Are you a bad man? Usually you're very vocal. What's going on today? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> That's good. Are you a jokester? Do you like jokes? Do you like dark humor? If you say yes, I'll tell you a really dark joke. Why do you keep showing yourself as orbs but not speaking to us? Is it harder to communicate with us when it's cold? You know, that could be a really good possibility because batteries do drain more in the winter time. I don't know, dude. It just seems like everything just went quiet. Yeah. So this has been an eventful night at Nunica Cemetery. Riley. Hey, another great night here. We apparently spoke to the devil himself. Not or sure so how I feel think. about it. <laughs> Not sure yet. Maybe we'll figure out tomorrow. Jenna? Seeing stuff with my own eyeballs. Which yep. is crazy. What about you, Chase? How'd you feel? I feel like Chase was seeing stuff all night. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good night. All I know is my fucking titties are fucking hard as rocks. <laughs> yep. My ears are about to Cutting fall off. Cutting diamonds, baby. <laughs> Felt Cutting that. diamonds. Fucking yeah. piercing. So with that, we are What Goes Bump in the Night. And remember, folks, to keep your ears and eyes open what really goes bump, bump in the night. night.